pretty much what it is. Alright, this is probably going to be an absolute mess, but we'll see how it goes. It's a fun idea. At least I think so. So, I'm going to kind of somewhat lightly stir this in, but not too aggressively, and uh, hope for the best. There we go. It's a little more saturated now. Um, there's still 20 minutes left to go of the mash, so I think that should be plenty of time. It definitely smells like French bread, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Uh. Alright, so I think it's worth mentioning that I'm uh, kind of purposely pouring it over the bread. Oh, and by the way, saucepan borla. Alright, so that's what the uh, spent mash looks like. Here we go, 60 minute addition. Play my audition. Hang with my nomies. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna unwrap this bad Larry. Basically just use a bunch of bed sheets. Go, we have flow. Ooh. Little bit of an overfill. All right, ah, fuck it. I'll let it spill on my keyser. Why not? I'm gonna try my best to uh, go over the appearance, the flavor, and aroma before I rant about this beer. <laughs> Um, so very clear, obviously, right off the bat. Uh, again, try to focus on the beer, not myself. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so decent head. Uh, stays around quite well, uh, of course. Should. It stays on. <laughs> um, so yeah, you get uh, a little bit of breadiness on the aroma. Kind of a little touch of noble hop aroma. It's uh, slightly herbal from the Aramis hops. Very uh, like pleasant, but kind of basic to be honest. Like nothing too crazy. There's a little bit of um, 
banana and clove also in the aroma. Um, probably too much for my, for my liking, to be honest. I've experienced that before in saisons that I've brewed, but it's usually in like the the airlock, the off gassing, and the final product you don't really get um, as pronounced as it is in this beer. Um, as far as the bread, I can't really say I smell it, but um, it definitely produced a little bit of uh, sugars, definitely. I don't know where the fuck I was. Whatever, just run with it. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we'll go in for the uh, flavor. Yeah, definitely uh, like a honey-like sweetness. Uh, that uh, French malt definitely comes through. I'm super happy with that. Can't wait to use it again, to be honest. Um, you could tell it's just high quality, really. Just in the aroma and the flavor, even just eating it, you can tell it's it's like top notch. Uh, very like, uh, I wouldn't say silky, but velvety. Like it's it has a mouthfeel and body that I haven't really experienced with saisons which kind of goes into my rant about how I really feel this is more of a, a Belgian uh, style yeast you should use. Like you should really use this to make Belgian beers, basically. I, it's, it's, I really do enjoy this beer. It's a delicious beer, but is it Saison? I really don't think so. There's just too many factors that kind of nudge it more towards Belgian than, than Saison. Um, which I could go on for probably an hour about that, but I'll try to like make it as concise as possible, which it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of, um, in the finish, like, uh, first off, uh, there's another thing. Uh, it's not first off, there's probably many things I've mentioned, but whatever, like ninth off. Um, I under hop this slightly. Uh, normally I go for about 28 IBUs in my Saison. This is about 17, 18, something like that. Um, the reason for that was I was planning on blending this with uh, my Solera project, which never took place, uh, unfortunately. Um, although earlier today I um, splashed a little bit of the Solera into like, you know, uh, about a quarter of a pour um, of this just to see you know, potentially what it would have done. And the Brett character throwing off from this was amazing. Like, I really should have just taken the time to uh, do a blend, um, whether it be bottle or like, I, ha I have a small keg that I do uh, sour blends in. Uh, you know, I should have done it. I just, I don't know, I got lazy. <laughs> but yeah, great, great mouthfeel and body. But yeah, it, it's just, it's not, Saison to me, which is unfortunate because the yeast is called Saison Stein. Um, yeah, not so much Saison in my opinion. I mean, there's uh, definitely some takeaways though. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good yeast, but I would um, recommend somebody use this for like a um, a Belgian style beer that you want to be super dry. Like this did finish at 1.003. So if you take that into account, and if you want like the Belgian characteristics with a uh, super, super dry finish, um, which by the way, this would have been much drier of a finish if I uh, hopped it like I normally do. And I think also, uh, I'm, I'm not too, I, I think I forgot exactly what I went with on the water profile. I think it was very similar to the last version of this beer because uh, this is a base I've used many times in Saisons. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it, it doesn't taste quite like those other examples because of, like I said, the Belgian yeast has just such uh, a different take on this base uh, than I expected. It's not a bad thing. It tastes really good. It's just uh, not what I was looking for. All right, well, I can't really think of uh, much more to say. I'm sure I will later. Like I said, I'll probably put fucking 
annotations all over the goddamn screen <laughs> making fun of myself but thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate you guys for uh tuning into my dumb rants uh yeah no i'm out mo, 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 mo. Cheers, guys.